And that's why they don't disappear off. It's really, really simple. How do you weigh a gas? A nine year Sorry? How do you weigh a gas? Okay. Describe the process. Um, you would put it in a container. So you need a container then. But inside that container, the gas is expanded in all directions inside the container. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So if it didn't have that container, it wouldn't be pressing down. It would be expanding in all directions, all vectors. Not a downward vector. All vectors, same as when it was in the container being weighed. All vectors, not just down. When, when he said that it, you can have gas in outer space the way they describe outer space, say Jupiter, for example, and that what that violates natural law. How could how could he even say natural law? Natural law is inviolable. Well, how would you prove? <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> well, the whole point of natural law is that this is it there's no way around it this is how it works and, and it's inviolable so now you're going to say well jupiter violates natural law well then it's no longer natural law then if it, that happens but what if the gas would break the natural law then it wouldn't be a natural law right so what if it's not a natural law but but it is a natural it. law. We have to, to demonstrate it's not first exactly but what if it's not a natural law? you need to violate it <laughs> violate it and it won't be that's right. Well, maybe they are violated, but we can't see it because they're gas. It's very tough to see them do something or not do something. It's a special pleading fallacy. Oh. I maybe, know. It's, maybe it's so tough to see that you think you're seeing gas, but it's not gas that you say we're seeing. How about it's so I'm tough I'm just for saying that. things might be different. Exactly. That's a, that's a, I just said that's a special pleading fallacy. Well, you got to be special f if you want to plead for the ball. So there you go. That's it. Got to be very special to claim that reference frames required to show drift are ruined. Very special. <laughs> You're not going to get off this, are you, Nathan? No, I'm never going to let that lie. Like gas, go down, go boom, boom, like bouncy balls in a fish tank. Why would you ever let that fish back into the water? Let's do that now. Well, why, why, why don't you come on like a normal human being and just get to the point? I am. I am. Well, say hello. Well, How are you I was, doing? Well, I'm saying there's no such thing. This natural law is a completely fictitious, made-up thing by QE that Nathan Parrots because he's too stupid. <laughs> really stupid. Oh. Um, I I'm get Trump as an idea, one didn't one. I? <laughs> no, it's just claimed that we made up natural QE laws. Natural Sorry, law. hold on, guys. It's just claimed we make up natural yeah. laws. Yeah. So, so Nathan, when you stand on the scales in your bathroom, when you stand on the scales in your bathroom, those scales register a force called your weight. And molecules, gas molecules, also feel the same force. And that's why they don't disappear off. It's really, really simple. How do you weigh a gas? A nine year Sorry? How do you weigh a gas? Okay. Describe the process. Um, you would put it in a container. So you need a container then. So without the container, there can be no weighing it. So you definitely need a container then. Wouldn't that just be you're forcing a huge amount of this gas that expands in all directions inside that container to be inside a container giving the container more downward vector because the containers are solid. But inside that container, the gas is expanding in all directions inside the container. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So if it didn't have that container, it wouldn't be pressing down. It would be expanding in all directions, all vectors, not a downward vector. All vectors, same as when it was in the container being weighed. All vectors, not just down. Right, let me explain to you. Do you understand the way... You're going to ask me something? No concession. Long pause, he heard me. Not all vectors, not down, not weight. All vectors, all directions inside that container. Just whistle past it, maybe. No, I'm going to... Rampus, did, did, did he but debunk your claim right interrupt. there, yes or no? me and let me answer the question no answer me this why is it that dan's asserting that the reference frames used by neil degrasse tyson are ruined 
What? Why is it that you told me that I was misrepresenting, misunderstanding or misquoting a Dan quote that said specifically that you and your reference frames are ruined? Simon and Dan. Now, you and your reference frames are used to claim Coriolis drift, something Dan didn't show in his example. And I'm asking you, his representative, it would seem, what reference frames are ruined? I've no idea what the, this reference frame is. It's a, something you told me I was misrepresenting, and yet you don't know what I'm talking about now. It seems very interesting that on your first gambit, you were very specifically telling me I was misrepresenting this. Change the subject He's now. just talking through me now. It's the demonstration of his absolute fundamentalist religious zealotry, not listening to a word. Watch the light on Rumpus's name flash from now on while I talk, meaning he's not listening. He's talking constantly so he doesn't have to listen to this. No worries. No problem. I don't mind. He's a fundy. He's being pummeled. He's representative of Simon Dan. The quote Dan has quoted to me on a tweet, I was told I was misrepresenting or misquoting. I've now on two days, two consecutive days, quoted it to him and he said, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll repeat it. This is a quote from Dan. You and your That's reference frames. Video. Fundy mute. Yeah. Fundy mute coward. So you're going to talk through this. Something that you said I was misrepresenting. You don't seem to want to hear it quoted anymore. Uh, the tractor video. Yeah, you're not listening to me quote Dan. This is devastating, ladies and gentlemen. What Rumpus is doing at the moment is talking constantly in the Discord server in the vain hope that you won't hear me repeat Dan's quote. The one I was supposed to be misrepresenting. The one that he doesn't want to hear now. Because I'm asking him... Whose reference frames are ruined? You misrepresented him about the... Uh, you and your reference frames are ruined. End quote, Simon Dan. Whose reference frames are ruined? You misrepresented... He just keeps telling me I'm... Mis what he's saying in the Discord server while you watch his light flash constantly is you're misrepresenting him. You're misrepresenting him. You're misrepresenting... So he doesn't have to listen to what I'm saying. I'm saying Dan said... You and your reference frames are ruined. And I'm asking, who are you and who are the reference frames belonging to? Because they're not mine. You misrepresent. See, just saying over and over again so he doesn't have to listen. What a coward. Scaredy cat. Scaredy cat. Dan ruined your reference frames. You misrepresented. Scaredy cat. Scaredy cat. Dan ruined your reference frames. Yeah. You misrepresent... Scaredy cat, scaredy cat. That's all he's doing. He's just saying the same thing over and over again so he doesn't have to listen. That's all he's doing. It's a pathetic, pathetic attempt to defend Simon Dan's egregious error. Just talk constantly while I point it out. See that light flashing? Yeah? This light here is him basically saying, I'm not going to listen to a word of this. When Dan, quote, Simon Dan, quote, you and your reference frames are ruined. About the See, saying it over and over again, over and over again, so he doesn't have to listen to it. I'm asking you whose reference frames these are. That better be obfuscated indefinitely. I don't mind. Keep obfuscating it and I'll keep asking because the audience, Rumpus, while you talk through me constantly, is going to recognise that you're in fear of this question. You're scared. And when you're scared, typically you'll project that onto me and tell me that I'm scared of Dan's ruined reference frames. You misrepresented him. Deep just saying the same thing over and over. What a coward. Basically, I'm not going to listen to any of this. I'm not going to listen or respond to your claim about Dan's quote that he said I didn't understand. But yeah, he doesn't want it repeated. He doesn't want to address the reference frames he needs to show Earth's turning underneath to claim it's spinning. And Dan saying those reference frames used to show Earth spinning underneath, deviation and drift, that procession in the gyro, that procession in the pendulum, that's drift. Two reference frames. And I'm asking over and over again, which reference frames are ruined? Yeah, it's just saying the same thing. I think it's only reasonable that I round out the show, making it clear that Rumpus doesn't want to hear this. He's not going to answer, so I'll answer for him. I'll tell you, they're your reference frames that you need to claim Earth spins underneath. It doesn't. There's no drift. I've got a little example of Dan showing us what no drift looks like. 
And apparently those reference frames, you and your reference frame, Trumpus, they're ruined. Now, hearing that and responding to that would be devastating. So you can be damn sure that this little light's going to keep flashing the entire time that I'm saying you and your reference frames are ruined. Better not let that quote come through to Discord because you can be damn sure I'm going to make the audience hear it. It's Dan's egregious error. Thank you, Dan. No drift. He's it's still saying the same thing. Literally still saying the same thing in a non-stop record loop. Of course he's in chat. He's a coward, this Simon Dan. Yep, abject coward. I run a public show, Dan. Unlike your show where you'd edit your videos with a script, publish them, and then go through the comments to remove any that don't agree with you, this is a public show that you can join. You can join and challenge me. When I say you've made an egregious error and you are a clown and that you're debunking your side's claim that needs reference frames by saying they're ruined, you can challenge that. Maybe come in and tell me all about the conservation of angular momentum or linear momentum so I can point out that that flies in the face of Neil deGrasse Tyson's claim that there's two reference frames, the ones you say are ruined, Dan. You can come and challenge that. I've got a public show. I'm not a coward in an echo chamber like Simon Dan. With that, I'm going to say... If you are watching this on either Nathan Oakley 1980 or Nathan Oakley Premier.